So today what I'm going to show you is how to attach objects to text and then convert that to a cutout uh, so that you can place that text on top of an image uh, for a really cool effect. So let's go. So I'm going to add some text onto my workspace. And um, I'm going to use all caps. And I'm going to change it to something uh, chunky like this. And I'm just going to make it on two lines. And I'm going to decrease the line spacing to bring it close together. Um, so I'm, I'm going to change the font color to white and I'm going to apply a back black background and I'm just going to increase the font size so that it fills most of the space here. All right, so I'm going to search for some grass and um, I'll use this and I'll just um, bring it down here and I'll just expand it and I'll do that. I'll place it right there. And now I'm just gonna make it black. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to download this as a PNG. And I'm going to um, Let's search for a background. Uh, I'm going to search uh, perhaps for a sunset. And I'm going to make that my background. And now I'm going to bring in my image that I downloaded. And I'm going to use the BG remover to remove the background. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can always use Remover BG. Uh, that will remove the background for you absolutely free. Okay, so here we go. And I'm just gonna make this bigger so that you can see the result. Okay, and there you go. You've got like a cutout there at the bottom of the grass. Now, if you wanted to change the color of this, you can by using Duotone. So um, Duotone is right here. If you wanted to, you could change this the color to um, red, and you have all these other options as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found any part of this helpful, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to receive updates in your YouTube feed. Until next time, bye-bye my friends.